Hi and welcome to the channel. I'm Sam and this is the Crafty Blinder Van Build. Evening. <laughs> Blue skies. Grey skies. Blue skies. And then big grey clouds. Anyway. Today we're going to do a job, um, it's something that's been bugging me for a while, I'll show you. Trims, I've tried keeping them clean, vibrant, put gels on them, I've put restorer on them, I've even gone along with a heat gun trying to get some life back into them, and it doesn't work. So, it really doesn't work. So I've wrapped my brain, I've trolled the internet and I was stood in a field with Dave Gill and he says, have you tried Forever Black? So today we're trying Forever Black and we'll see how it performs. I decided to try the Forever Black on the two biggest parts that I've got. And the first job is to degrease them, remove all that road film and grease and any oils that might be on there. So this is just a cheap hob cleaner and it does the job brilliantly. Taking the time to degrease your parts before you prep them for any painting or finishing is time well spent. It will prove beneficial at the end, it will improve your finish and I've learnt this through experience. I always take a bit of time and work the soap and degrease it into the hard to reach areas. So we'll leave them now just to dry out and we'll pop them back in the garage and we'll carry on with tidying them up. So we're just giving all the plastics a good rub with this scotch pad and it's got a good key. Now we've done that, we're going to degrease it all. I've already washed it today, that should have took the majority off. Well, this will take all the fine bits off. So this is the stuff we're going to use today, it's called Forever Black. Um, I've followed the instructions so far, we've washed it, we've cleaned it, we've scrubbed it, we've keyed it and we've degreased it. So now it's time to apply it. Now it's a sponge and basically that's a cleaner concentrate but I've, I've scrubbed it. So we're just going to go straight into applying it. So let's have a go. I 
I decided to apply this behind the number plate just in case there was a bad reaction or I wasn't happy with the product. But as soon as I started working with it, I could see what a brilliant result it was making. So I just carried on. I didn't stop. It made such a big difference. Just got to keep even strokes on it. All in the same direction. <laughs> this is really good. So let's put a dub on there. That is really good. We've had two weekends of absolute bonkers weather. And today when it's supposed to be absolutely chucking it down but blue skies now i know this is the calm before the storm before you all start checking me but i'm taking full advantage of it <laughs> this sunshine can stay as long as it wants so i'm just working this in everywhere i have some lights to mount in here so I maybe shouldn't be spending too much time on it, but I like to do things properly as you may have already worked out for yourselves. So that's everywhere covered. I think this will need a top coat. As it stands, that looks pretty good. What do you think? <laughs> That's staying in. Oh, it's leaking all over my bloody hand. <laughs> Lift the top open, what a blue head. Well, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but there's the finished article. <laughs> I'm really impressed with that. That is really good. Absolutely transformed it needs another coat here not too bad there yeah just maybe you can see the marks in it where I've rubbed it so we'll give that another little coat but um yeah that looks really good <laughs> really good so now I have a black bumper not a grey one in the end I'd give the bumper three coats of forever black and it looked fantastic when I mounted it on the van it just popped and that inspired me to carry on not sure if you can see the contrast there but previously this looked black compared to my bumper now my bumper looks black and this looks grey what a difference Look at that. This stuff is brilliant. So we're now going to do the grill. So we'll give it a wipe off. With some panel wipe. And we'll apply the Forever Black. The wonder product. <laughs> so we use panel wipe to degrease everything. Um, we've given it a good wash before. And scrub. But I always give everything a good degreasing before I do anything with it really, before I clean it, apply any coatings. Just helps them bond really. Now the grill, even though it's half the size of the bumper, it took three times as long. 
because there's so many little areas to work into and so much detail. So I've got myself a seat and I just booked myself in for the afternoon and I just bashed on till I got it done. One thing that was recommended to me, and I will tell you the same thing, mask off anywhere you do not want this stuff. It is very strong, very powerful, and it will taint even your badges and your chromes. So we're carrying on staining all the plastics. Doing the arches first, because um, I've done the front ones over there. So kind of doing it in stages. The next time I do it, I'll do all that. But it's got really windy all of a sudden. So I have been doing the back bumper too. Um, at the same time, we just need to we just need to flick out them lenses on the bottom. Just to just to do around them bits. But this wind today is well, it's absolutely horrendous. Picked up on the trees, so we'll crack on. But I, I can't video anything; it's just, just too windy. Finished rear bumper. You can see the contrast there between the original colour and the now forever black. That is pretty good. I've done the arch as well so as soon as we get a bit more time I'm gonna continue right down the side of the van all the way down and join up the two arches but I'm really happy with that it's a really really good finish to the front bumper couple of marks there but we'll we'll let it weather in and then we'll go back over it. It's had several coats on it. It now needs some driving and see how it performs in the weather. But yeah. It's, it just proper stands out. These have been done a couple of weeks. So there's there is quite a bit of difference there. And this one's been done couple hours you can still see the, the stroke marks in it. it hasn't completely dried out but look what a contrast from grey to black no problem at all happy with that so you might have guessed I love this stuff <laughs> this stuff is brilliant now when Dave was telling me about this we were all up at Whitby and we were just chatting away as you do he told me about this stuff and I was like, hmm, we'll give it a while, I've got nothing to lose. And I'll tell you what, this is a firm favourite now. I'm going to have a bottle of this in my garage for future use. It's only a little bottle, but I've got a long wheelbase van and that has done just about all of it. I did buy two, I've got a second one down there. But this stuff's brilliant. I've put, I've gone from grey to black on all my trims. I've still got the side trims to do, don't get me wrong, I haven't finished them off and I think I will end up using some of the other bottle. But as it is, this has done the front bumper three, four times now. It's done all the wheel arches two, three times. It's done the rear bumper twice for definite and it's brilliant. The only thing I would add to the kit, because what you get in it is this and you get this sponge applicator now, the first the first one, I probably used it a bit too hard. I've had to break into the second one. I'm going to have a look around, see if I can buy some of these uh, for future use. But the only thing I would add in is a brush with a, a nice, decent head on it. That isn't too big, but that's brilliant for getting into all them little, awkward, intricate places, you know. Attention to detail. So, for me, that cost 30, 40 pence out of a craft shop. It was for nothing. I think we bought it from Wilco's. Yeah, we bought it from Wilco's. And it was it was next to nothing. So that was the only thing I would buy in addition to what comes in the pack. Um, I've still got the wash kit, the prep kit. Because you've seen how I do things. I've degreased it. 
then washed it and then degreased it again with power wipe that works for me and maybe that product is is good um it's recommended it's what they sell with it but i've found in from past experience that what i do works for me i've never ever had an issue so to try something different to me was a bit well i know what works for me so i've stuck to my i stuck to what i know um that stuff's probably brilliant, but I haven't tried it. I will try it on something else, but I wanted a nice result on my van, and that's what I've got. I'm very happy with it, and I would recommend this product. It's not cheap, but for what it does, and the effort you have to put into applying it, it's a brilliant little product, and I don't know how long it's going to last. Um, I, I did the front bumper about four weeks ago, a little bit of wear on one point but that could have just been I maybe didn't key it enough but I've gone back and I've touched it in and it's been brilliant it's it's shown no other signs there's no other areas where it's it's failed so I'd put it down to myself and it just never I never keyed that area it's a big area to work I must have just missed that little bit but yeah if you want to change your bumpers or you want to make your bumpers look like new forever black brilliant product brilliant product <laughs> really is very happy with it so that's us again end of another video we're just packing up we're off tomorrow we're off down to Newark we're meeting up with Rich and Debs from Rich B's Life Adventures um, can't wait to be honest we haven't seen him for a long time I think it was November last year we saw them last but um, you know it's been a long time <laughs> a lot's happened since then as well We've finished another job on the van. Um, there's a couple more videos to come from this from this phase of works that we've been doing. That's the spotlights, um, the reverse over override switch. I put a little switch on the dashboard there to help with reverse not, not reversing to give us the option of using the reverse lights for other things. Say we're we're working out there at the back of the van, it gives us that option. So I've done that as well. I've also got um, spotlights that are fitted to the van. I've done a light on the sliding door. That's going to be a good video as well. And we've also done, what else we've done? Oh yeah, I think I've found a way to get my vehicle registered as a camper van. Or, what is it they call it? A motor caravan, that's it. DVLA's term, a motor caravan. So, I've done a lot of research. I think I've found a way where they can't they basically can't refuse me it's a big statement isn't it but if it works i'm going to share it with you if it doesn't i'll just pretend i never said this video <laughs> i never said this in this video um we're also going to be up in the van as well um i've done the paperwork we've got one more thing to buy for the van once we've done that we'll do a little video on how we got the van up plated and how we went through the process and all the steps that go with it um what else is there i think that's it i think we've covered everything now but yeah it's been a brilliant last couple of weeks um a lot of these jobs i did mean to do over the christmas holiday but i fell ill um i was ill right across the back end of last year ill all over christmas and into january and then i got covid so it's been a bit of a rough year we started late with these jobs but we've definitely got them finished just in the nick of time there's a little bit more uh, dying to do with the side trims and and using this forever black on there and when i've done it i'll show you the the results but i've done what i can get away with for now we really need the weather to improve as well it hasn't been on our side that's i think that's the same for everybody you know you try to get jobs done and we've had storm after storm after storm and now the weather has gone really cold so not the perfect time to be doing um things like painting and staining where you need to you need the air to be decent and warm and, and not full of moisture so yeah we'll get there we'll get that finished off but thanks for watching hope you have a fantastic weekend because i intend to as well i'm looking forward to this weekend away so so much but anyway thanks for watching we'll see you again next week Thanks for watching to the end. Without you guys, this channel will be dead in the water. Remember, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Crafty Blinders.
If you like what we're doing, please remember to subscribe, like and share with your friends. Until next time, take care and we'll see you again.